Welcome to our collection update and our weekly giveaway series where we give you as many gargantuan games as possible that publishers or fans or we buy ourselves to give to the community. In this week's video at the very end we'll be drawing for the winner of Root, the uh, Marauder expansion, the Clockwork expansion, and if you don't have the base game, the base game as well. Setting this off to the side, which we, by the way, will have to buy ourselves, but I just don't want to send you valuable expansions without a way to get them to the table. <laughs> For sure. And in this video... We are going to be announcing that we're going to be giving away a copy of Summit, because they currently have a Kickstarter. Ah, uh, Game Found. Game, a Game Found campaign up. And you have to comment down below the name of the new expansion that they are releasing. Yeah, so they have a Game Found expansion for a reprint, because this is now hard to get your hands on. The two original expansions, which are going to be Yeti uh, and, and Teams, uh, which teams. is our favorite way to play. And the brand new expansion that we're not going to name, because that's how you enter to win. Leave a comment down below. This is a mountaineering board game that has solo mode, cooperative mode, and straight competitive mode. Very, very cruel take that. Yes. We've had a blast playing it. We have more coverage coming down to the channel, and it's a good time to get this into someone's hands. By the way, just for the heads up for whoever wins this, our favorite way right now to play is competitive with teams. I said that. Because it's cutthroat. You gotta pick up that expansion, so. It's cutthroat and brutal, but, you know, pulls the curtain back a little bit. Yeah. By the way, if you're watching to this point, we are trying to speed through the giveaway series, because that's the reception we had from the community. What we're looking for on your end is make sure you're subscribed down below to follow along with this giveaway series and our collection update every single weekend. Hit that like button because we've got big things coming soon. Big, big, big things. Big round circular things. Big things coming big soon. Big square things too. And make sure you leave a comment down below to enter that giveaway series. The more engagement we have on videos like yeah. this, the more we're able to do bigger and bigger things. So if you have a dream game that you're hoping to get your hands on one day, trust me, engaging here is the best way to make that possible for free. Let's talk about the things we got in. Sure. I this week all, um, was all on my side, I believe. There's one on my side. Uh, okay, we can talk about that. So, oh. we had a fan, uh, Alex, Alex, sent us Stars of Arceos. Which uh, is funny because we just got in our copy of it as well. Yeah, so this one he sent specifically to do a giveaway for the community. Yeah. We have a series coming out tomorrow that's going to start being a repetitive series on the channel called our P.O. Box Hall or whatever. Mm -hmm. We have a P.O. Box now where you can send us piles of games or apparently entire flipping crokinol boards. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, either way, uh, that's coming out tomorrow. That is also going to have some giveaways associated with it, and it's a good chance for us to unbox anything you send. Yeah. We do have two requests, though, uh, two very specific requests. Please do not send us any more copies of Marvel United. Always and, send Marvel United. And please do not send us anything in the terms of, like, a glitter bomb. That would genuinely be a, a significant problem no, for our No, the channel. only real request is don't send anything that's alive. It would probably not be alive by the time you get it. Link to that video uh, will be here live on Sunday on the channel, and then you can always find our P.O. Box in the description yeah. of the video series. Let's talk about stuff we got, and then let's talk about the Kickstarters, and let's draw some winners. Sounds good. We got... We got a five-hole. I should turn around. That's, yeah, very yeah. ineffective. You're terrifying me with this. Working on it. You're just going to roll it across the... Holy cow, Shira. I thought this you had it. You grabbed very, it. I did not grab it. Yeah. We got a five-hole crokinole board. This is the best way now to play two versus two, basically. So the holes around the outer rim work as negative ten if you knock your opponents or your own chits into them. If you don't know anything about crokinole, this is probably our favorite. No, it is. It is hands our, favorite down, dexterity. our favorite dexterity game of all time. These are coming from Tracy Boards, Boards which is yep. uh, the best manufacturer that we've ever came across. Don't put it on my side. And on top of that, uh, this five hole is a new product that he's bringing to the service. He was visiting yep. this last week. We ended up grabbing one from him while he was here. We're very thrilled to have a five hole crokinole yep. board. We're definitely not considering making sure that you all, the community, can have first dibs on one of them as well, well before they're even live available on the store. We, we wouldn't do that. Yeah. It's not like we like, it's not like giving you things multiple. away. It's not like I spent extra money just trying to make sure that my community had all the nice shiny things I could possibly provide to them. Also, at this point, there are now four permanent crokinole boards in our house, and we have officially lost wall space for them. You, you don't know where you're putting them. There's four of them. None of them are leaving. None of them are leaving. We have one that Kevin sent to us yes. with an amazing art graphic and logo on it. Yes. That gets played downstairs. 
We have our classic and our five hole from yes. Jer from Tracy Boards. And then we have the one that your friend made you that is currently in our studio. My idea is to put them all on our stairwell, just in a row, up and down. Our family photos. <laughs> Uh, we don't take family. Photos. We also ended up picking up two other little things. We have crocodile cards. Did you pick cards, them up? I'm so excited. Crocodile cards. Video on them. And Brown Castle Games crocodile uh, Imperium cards. These are variations on the core game. They have take that the, elements. Make it harder for yourself. Challenges that you can set up a way to play a solitaire mode. Yeah. These are really really cool. Um, and there was a video that was released two days ago when you're watching this that talks about them in a little bit more detail. Very excited about them. I got a comic. Brandon freaking Sanderson. Oh, Brandon freaking okay. Sanderson. I was preparing Brandon, my Brandon eye roll for Sanderson, you because it was Sanderson, another RPG. Sanderson, but Sanderson, never mind. Sanderson, Brandon freaking Sanderson. Did you got read this the one Brandon already? Sanderson. I did. It's so good. I read it the day Are I got sure it. Are you sure put this one on last week's? I'm going to read it again. Yeah, you enjoyed it a lot. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. Good. I just don't know the lore that it's touching into. I need to see if there's more as well. The Dark One, more Brandon Sanderson stuff because he is now probably my favorite author, art, artist I've ever found. We have. This, the is where, great, this is where my eye roll comes into play. The Great Worms of Draka. Yep. And you're going to like this one, Shira. Despite the eye roll, you're going to appreciate this. We got Eldritch Country. The Almanac and the Expeditions. This is in the Arkham Horror, Eldritch Horror uh, style environment. You are intriguing me. The, we... the Cthulhu environment where you get to take on one of the heroes. You know how you like playing the roles yeah. of people in Cthulhu Death May Die? Yeah. Do that, but you actually get to be impactful in the game. Except I distinctly remember, like, a couple weeks ago, you were saying that you were going to get Humblewood to the table. What didn't get played this week, Jesse? Excuse me, Shira. What didn't get played this week? I, I'm sorry. Is that a fair thing to pick <laughs> on me back with how how chaotic our week was? Is that a fair criticism? Do you want to stick by that? Yes, I'll stick by it. You're going yes, to stick yeah. by that yep, criticism. Yep, yep. Shira? No RPGs have been played yet this week. Shira Chavin. <laughs> I will start prioritizing them over the other sanity that we had to exist. We went to see 4th of July fireworks as a family with Devin. It was a vlog content. It was work. Oh, I'm sorry. Sounds like we should just play RPGs from now on. You stick by criticisms? No stick by criticisms. We'll back off criticisms a little bit. Mm-hmm. We have... Rise... Of Empires. And this is a prototype. This is a prototype from Wise Wizard Games. This is going to be the brand new legacy edition of Star Realms that is both forward and backward compatible, that adds in stickers and elements that allow you to play through the campaign, unlocks a ton of extra modular cards, is set as a prequel to the current Star Realms universe and lore, allows you to develop your various different space colonies as you play, and continues growing that market. We have four episodes of it. We're going to be diving in and playing it head to head, Shira. I don't know Star Realms. That's why I'm not more excited here. Um, you this can give is me all one the of the. You want, this but. is one of the most notable, uh, most notable deck builders in the industry. Cool. They have an amazing app, which will be actually a good way for you to be introduced to the genre of game and the way the game actually functions and plays. It's accessible. It's got tons of modularity and tons of expansions to it. And this Legacy Edition is probably one of the most anticipated things they've put out. Awesome. Needless to say. I'm moderately excited about this. Yeah. No, I mean, I like the, Dominion is my favorite. It's probably one of my favorite deck builders right now. And this looks like a really cool theme. I got in Mistborn House War. Brandon Sanderson. Brandon freaking Sanderson. Brandon freaking Sanderson. We got Brandon Sanderson. We got a better Sanderson. We got Brandon Sanderson. We got a better Sanderson. Are you actually going to play any of these Brandon Sanderson games? Got the Brandon Sanderson. Got a better Sanderson. Are you actually going to play I already these? played the Reckoners. For one. Okay, are you going to play your Stormlight Archive? Yeah, so Mistborn I'm saving till I've read the books because I got told there was things that spoil it. Same thing with the Stormlight Archives. The reason I picked this up, though, is because it was the last one available on Amazon. Okay. And I, my assumption is it'll get harder and harder to get. Then I am planning, Shira, to do a dedicated Brandon frickin' Sanderson review mm -hmm. of all his games and then tell him why, if anyone's going to work on and design his next game, it should be Quackalope. And I will then spend the next three years of my life dedicated to developing a game in his universe just so I can work and collaborate with Brandon Flippin Sanderson. If any of you would like to see a Quackalope produced game for the Brandon Flippin Sanderson universe, let me know. I feel like we could pull some weight here. I do like your dance. Can you do it again? Brandon Flippin Sanderson, Brandon Flippin Sanderson, we got Brandon Sanderson, and now he'll never work with me again, period. <laughs> Period. I mean, I just like the dance. Shira, you know how you like Garfield games? Mm hmm You know how you're a fan of Garfield games? Mm-hmm. Uh, this 
is something that you will immediately become excited about. We have First Light and Circadian's Chaos Order. It's a competitive, confrontational, area control game with highly asymmetric factions. Each faction has unique leaders and attributes, all of which are upgradable within the game. They also have unique buildings to constitute, to construct, and their own personal win condition. This looks insane. This looks so cool. In line with your type of play, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Uh, Competitive, dice placement, resource management, variable player powers, yep, yep, yep. Just saying, both of these games line up with things that you Enjoy. are... Uh, interested in. Very excited to have this in. I haven't, we haven't opened them up yet. We're going to be doing an unboxing and then diving into the actual gameplay structure. Uh, we also have a, have a copy to, to give away for the record because uh, we do that stuff here. We do it. We do, we do the stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. The stuff gets done. Yeah. Uh, but um, we'll wait until we're bringing you coverage of it to show off and talk about that. I think else? that's the stuff. Not much came in this week. Nothing's leaving per usual. I mean, that's a pretty good collection of stuff that came in. Yeah, we were just talking about how little it was, though. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. I do not want to do a software update. You never software later. update. I hate software updates. Remind me later. Stop <laughs> it. All right, let's talk about things that we have backed and supported. Let's take a look at Kickstarter first. Let's Important talk about where we there. are. So, Humblewood Tales. This is why you're wanting to play 34 Humblewood. days. Uh, we are backing it. There, yes. it's brand new story modes. It's brand new character. Like it's, it's got a ton of new things in the world of Humblewood. Hit Point Press is an absolute gemstone. Ooh, you're a big backer. I am. <laughs> they only had a hundred pledge of pl those pledges left. I didn't even blink. I was actually. Let me show you this, Shira. Comments. If we can load it. I always overestimate <laughs> this. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me. It almost loaded. Oh, and then okay. You stop. Don't touch it. There you go. Go, 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 go. Come on, Jesse. Keep going, Kickstarter app. Don't fail me now. Only 180. Quack a little first. Quack. <laughs> they launched at 10 a.m. <laughs> You're cute. Just saying might be moderately excited excite, about much this. excite about stuff. No Rolls Bard. No Rolls Bard is doing a Blood on the Clock Tower series. series a dedicated video series. They have already raised enough to do their two-episode commitment. Mm -hmm. And if they get up to a hundred and ten or one hundred fifteen thousand dollars, they're committing to six full episodes. That's cool. I I don't know if they've responded to my comment yet. Let's see if they have, uh, because I backed them. Uh, view replies. Uh, <laughs> quack. I am in. Now, how do I come join you for a game? They just said thank you so much. I don't know if they know who you are. Probably not. Probably not. Hey, No Rose Bar, big fan. Big fan. Uh, not always been the biggest fan of Blood on the Clock Tower. I feel like. Coming to play with you all in person on a studio set would be life changing. Uh, well, I mean, it would be big, big steps. Game changing. I. You change your opinion. I'm just saying. Yeah. I would be happy to do everything I can to make sure my audience is aware of this. Yeah. If they were open to a conversation about, well, first off, without them being open to the conversation, you all should be aware of this. But second off, I, I would, I would literally throw a fit. Uh, if they had a seat that they would be open to me coming to play with them. Because I'm such a big fan of No Rose Bar. I'm a Patreon backer there, a supporter yeah. of their channel. Their content is some of the best in our space. And I just want to be more like them. Snapships Tactics. Constructible Miniatures game. I am backing this. I'm excited about this. I'm going to end up backing. So a lot of people have been asking what level I'm going to be in. I don't think I need everything for this, right? But it is a helter-skelter, a ton of fun. If you have kids or if you enjoy that kind of squad building mentality, I see no reason why getting all the ships is not within the realm of conversation. For me, I'm going to end up doing the starter pack and then I'm going to actually choose a few of the ships gotcha. to add in. Okay. Uh, and so you and I will probably look and be like, I like this build, mm -hmm. I like that ship, um, and add some things piecemeal cool. a bit. Okay. Uh, but very, very excited about that as well. Drop Bears, coming from Matthew Aslan. I'm backing this. This is a Australian-themed game. It's a cooperative adventure game where you have uh, this kind of chaos bears swarming in and uh, slowly taking you out. Um, excited to be, get, be getting this one. This is coming from an indie publisher that I, I really admire and support in this space. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited for his second game to be on the way. Uh, I don't think... There's some other things we need to talk about, though, because you mentioned them to me, right? Yep. So let's see here. How do we go... Kickstarter Explorer. Explore. We need to scroll down to games. Tabletop games. Okay. You asked me about... Dice Thrones. First off, this is 
Santa vs. Krumpus. Right. Shira, how interested are you in Santa vs. Krumpus? Not at all. Why is that? I'm an Orthodox Jew. I don't really relate to Santa. Just a pretty good reason, I think. Yeah, probably probably not a, a game system we would play. We just got Marvel Dice Thrones in. Yeah. And I honestly think this is a cool expansion for them to add in. You know, coming from someone that, that used to celebrate Christmas, I, I don't disagree with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think it's not really a, a game that we want in our house. The reason why we're talking about it, though, is because if you scroll and continue scrolling... So. They are... This is where the conversation starts for you, Shira. Yes. We'd be getting the expansion. We'd also be getting Season 1, Season 2, Dice Throne Adventures, which is a campaign game set in the Dice Throne world, miniatures, painted miniatures for every Dice Throne's character, the whole slew of playmats, and it would only cost us $600. And me, being the completionist I am, I'm going to say no. I am very oh. happy with my Marvel Dice Thrones. I like it because it's the theme I like. I don't need everything for it. Yeah, and look how much I've grown. <laughs> I even, though I'm not the biggest fan of Dice Thrones, I myself even am inclined to want to back this. However, I am going to be playing Marvel Dice Thrones over original Dice Thrones, mm -hmm. period. And on top of that, I don't and you're really, not even enjoying Dice Thrones. You, I don't really you love the system. You keep losing to me. I mean, it's really I'm hurting your feelings. It. I'm really bad at it. Yeah. So I really like it, though. Outside of that, there's not a lot of other things. I am curious about this. I want to have a conversation with you in the audience about this. Should I back from Infinite Rabbit Holes, should I back Panic in Gotham City? It's a Batman-style game. This is game. the new Batman-style game people are talking about. So this is a virtual reality-inspired game. And here's the thing, and you don't know this, but here's the thing that made me intrigued by this. They either are working with or hired or just got super lucky because Chris Ramsey, multi-million subscriber channel, Magic and Puzzle Solver, okay. he makes some of the best videos in the space. I'm such a big fan of him. He is here covering and showcasing it, full VR mode, like, like displaying it on the channel. And I'm like, like, hello, Infinite Rabbit Games. Send me out there. I want to collaborate with him. Yeah. I'm such a big fan. He was already playing the game. Why couldn't something work out? Uh, but I am really intrigued on this. Gotcha. He seemed to think it was very cool. Cool. Uh, he seemed to enjoy it quite a lot. So it it's would be something you would a... play on like your, um, your VR? No. So you use your phone and your phone triggers virtual reality okay. in the mode. The app triggers virtual reality. The thing is, I think the price point is gross. I do. To, I, and is I that understand. the entrance? Yeah. No, no, it's not the entrance, but that's the all-in, which is where, like, you, you know, be, I yeah. would want to be. I hate pledging for 149, even though I understand, you know, that that might be all we ever play. I kind of want everything. Yeah. The price points, that's pretty rough. And I get that yeah. there's technology inside of it, and yeah. so you're buying the VR, yeah. uh, and I'm super compelled by it. Like, you go through this whole Joker mode, you have these story elements. It's It's got a lot of cool things happening. I think it is probably one of the directions board games is going. This may be an innovator in our space. And you know what they say about new technology. Like, it gets started by people investing, and those investors lose money. And then eventually it becomes more commonplace. Same thing with that, um, with that system that we were talking yep. about, those that electronic system. This is more expensive than that, though. Yeah. That's the weird part, is like, getting into this puts you in an even more difficult position. Yeah. So, let us know. Right now, we have 14 days left to decide on this. I'm going to be doing more research. I'm going to be watching the full Chris Ramsey video. I'm going to be showing it to you to see if you're interested. <laughs> Hooray. I will back this if there's enough demand or support from the community. I also... There's, no, there's only 780 I know. people. And let me just be very clear. I'm also going to be having Devin reach out to Infinite Rabbit Holes for a ability to cover this yeah. or an option to have them send us everything. Like... If I can get this and have a chance to show it to the channel, because I back this, I am not backing it saying that I think the audience should. I yeah. would be backing this saying that I think our channel should be covering what is pushing the line in our industry, and this seems like they're doing it. So. Is that it? But yeah, that's that's kind of where we are. Is there anything on swing, GameFound? Let's swing over to GameFound. Let's take a look over there. GameFound, GameFound, where are you? I'm singing. It's, just, it's the it's the Amun Ray uh, 20th anniversary edition. Compelled. 
I've never uh, played the base. But like we need the original. To, we probably need to check with Alex to see if he's in on this one or not. Button Shy has one day left. It'll be closed by the time you're watching this. We are backing that though. Summit Sanity Big Box eleven days left. We already. To say the word. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's not the word. That is the word. <laughs> that is the word. <laughs> tisk tisk. Burn Cycle preview, preview is coming soon. We will have that's additional exciting. coverage talking about that. It's probably my favorite Chip Theory games game. Uh, and that's that's kind of all we are at. Yeah. That's where awesome. we that's where we are. Uh, Flick feet. I've heard people being c interested in, but okay. uh, you know, it's not doesn't have a ton of backers right now. Um, so I'm not sure. And we kind of have our dexterity covered. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, after that, you've made it to the giveaway portion of this video. Thank you for watching. If you've already made it here, just so you know. We we, we, we we have we have a lot we have very leave a thumbs up for for the fact that we're we're trying to give away a flipping crokinole board. Do that. All right. Two uh, thumbs ups. Let me go ahead and pull the YouTube video. YouTube video for uh, ours. Quackalo. Over here, the videos. We need to go ahead and do the drawing for the root giveaway. So, share copy link. And I think this is the only drawing we have, correct? Yeah. Okay. Filter duplicates. I don't believe you required a... I didn't, no. 15 is going to be our entry point. So, we are going to be able to determine who is winning a whole flipping slew of stuff for Root. Which, by the way, I bought myself. I just added more things to the pledge manager when I was doing it. 1,100 people entered. And let's... Uh, Go ahead and pick a winner. We have Mike Snyder. Quack, loving the giveaways. Keep it up. Reach out to us. Let us know if you have at quackloop at gmail.com. Let us know if you have a base copy of Root. And if not, it shall all be sent to your way. Yeah, leave a comment down below. And then, well, don't leave a comment down below. Send us an email at quackloop at gmail.com. That details are always in the description of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a chaotic bunch as you are and make sure again you comment to win a copy of summit uh you leave a comment down below letting us know what the new expansion is called and we'll see you next time